And our big story here at 6 o'clock, this is what it looks like on some beaches along the eastern shore. Syringes and needles washed ashore. And at this hour, leaders say they do not know where the medical waste is coming from. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. Welcome to WJZ's All Local News at 6. And many of those beaches now have restricted access. Our Tara Lynch is in Ocean City tonight with reaction from beachgoers as Ocean City Beach Patrol works to remove that debris now. Ocean access in Ocean City continues to be closed for another day as medical waste washed ashore over the weekend. Officials say they don't know where the waste is coming from, but that it's impacting beaches from Virginia up to Delaware. This is the first time that I can remember that we've had this type of uh, material wash up on our beaches. I've been coming down here for 70 years since I was a kid and uh, I never heard of nothing like this before. A disturbing sight on a Maryland beach. Medical waste, including syringes and needles, littered the shoreline in Ocean City over the weekend. Ocean City closed access to the ocean on Saturday because of rough surf and debris. On Monday, the cleanup continued and the ocean remains closed. There's only been a few objects that have washed up on the beach today, and the ocean's really rough. So if there's stuff out there, it should be coming ashore. So it looks like the major impact was sometime early yesterday morning into yesterday afternoon. The Department of Public Works, Ocean City Beach Patrol and police combed the shoreline, picking up the trash by hand instead of by the sand grooming machines. The mayor says he's spoken to officials from Delaware and Virginia who say medical waste also washed onto their beaches. Assateague and Chincoteague also restricted ocean access. They still don't know where the trash is coming from. Nobody throughout the state or the, the region, Delaware, Virginia included, has any idea. Um, it's yet been determined how that's going to be researched and who's going to investigate that. It's like a ghost town. Beachgoers are disheartened their vacation plans were changed. Many said they weren't aware of the closure until they spoke with the beach patrol and no signs were posted. The kid family was walking along the water before beach patrol told them they had to move up the beach. He just said this was more like ground zero and like I was walking on the edge of the water. He said don't walk in it because you know that you don't step on a needle or something. I was hoping the wind would die down too plus plus this stuff here too. I would have liked to at least going out a little bit in, in the ocean there a little bit yes. I'll sit on the beach but you can't even go get to the wet sand. They won't watch it. We're going to monitor the situation before we allow people to go back into the water. Ocean City Mayor Rick Meehan says that swimming access will remain closed for right now. He also says if you find anything on the beach to contact the police department. For now, reporting on your corner in Ocean City, Tara Lynch, WJZ. Tara, great coverage. Thank you. The Maryland Department of the Environment has a feature on their website now where you can check the status of your favorite beaches. You can see the red ones, or the ones in red at least, include the beaches that Tara mentioned in Ocean City and Assateague. Now, red means those beaches are closed. The others you see in white means no sampling data is available. And for more, just visit the State Department of Environment's website.